Oh, hey, what's good, man? You okay? Oh, hey, what's up, man? You all right? <laughs> okay, all right, guys. Well, guys, today we're going to be looking at uh, what I can only describe as a baffling piece of social media, okay? It's a music video. Uh, uh, it's going to make you do that. If you're smoking drugs. <laughs> if you're smoking drugs. <laughs> Disgusting. If you're smoking. Left nut. I mean, God bless Kid Rock, but good, good Lord, good Lord, what happened with this music video? You're going to see, good God, what happened with this music video. Yeah. It's very difficult to do political works of art. You know what I mean? Some people could do it. You know, Stanley Kubrick, Stanley Tucci, Stan Lee. So before we get into this actual video, I kind of bought the Kid Rock mystique. Like, I thought Kid Rock was an actual trailer park boy, you know? Uh, but it turns out, no. Kid Rock's childhood home is far from humble, see pictures. The colorful rap rocker and some, uh, sometimes country singer has an image as a hardcore country boy, but as his pictures show, his childhood home in Michigan... Uh, show he actually grew up in pretty privileged circumstances. The five hundred whoa five thousand six hundred sixty <laughs> square foot house in Bruce Township, Michigan, about forty miles north of Detroit, has five bedrooms and seven bathrooms. And not only that, turns out his name isn't even Kid Rock. His real name is Kidford T. Rockingham the Third Esquire. At your service. Look at that man, shit looking like a plantation. Kid Rock, what is that? What's up with that, man? So Kid Rock is a big MAGA guy, you know, to all my MAGA people all around the nation. When I was a kid, I lived on a plantation. If you're smoking drugs. <laughs> this is my favorite part right here. Our father, our heaven. <laughs> He's like, do you like doing drugs? Our father who art in heaven. Bar -bar -bar, I'm going to do my shit. That's like how the song goes. Wait a second. Hold on. Are you telling my ass? that a guy who grew up in a little Lord Fauntleroy mansion became a famous rap rocker and now is pretending to be some kind of rural down-home chicken and biscuits. You're telling me that guy's into Trump? No way. No way. Wear your mask, take your pills, Ew. now a whole generation's mentally ill. Woo! Dr. Fauci, he can suck my wiener, fainting couch in my stately manor, mint juleps on the front porch, shipping cotton up to the north. Okay, guys, come on. So yeah, uh, anyway, Kid Rock dropped this video, new music video, a couple days ago. It's on its way to a mill. It's on the road to a mill. And uh, it's one of the most baffling things I've ever seen. What's the message? What's the message here to this video? Okay, before we get to the video, there is one of the most baffling, like, lyrical choices in this thing, and I urge you to go listen to it. It's at around 38 seconds, okay? Yes, I know you're hot, so... <laughs> so it's all normal. It's like, I don't give a damn, Uncle Sam, I still love this land. And then he goes, yes, ma'am, I know you like it hot. Yes, ma'am, you know I like it hot. Can anybody tell me what that, what's going on there? What that's supposed to be? He just goes into like a 1930s. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am, you know. Yes, ma'am, you know I like it hot. It's like something you'd see on Seinfeld, where like Jerry likes some woman, you know, and they're about to make out or something. She's like, yes, ma'am. And he's like, you know, and the next day he's with Elaine and George, and he's like, I don't know. She went into some 1930s voice, and now I can't do it. So, okay, let's look at the story of this video, because this is the truly, God, guys, help me understand what this video is trying to say. So we start with a good old time American Cracker Barrel looking ass shit. You know, it's all f***ed up. Oh no, hey, I wanted to get a mouth harp there in the country store. Now I can't, now I can't. So then there's some like Antifa, I guess. They're destroying this gold country store, this old Cracker Barrel country store. And throughout this entire video, uh, the what he's saying in the song completely doesn't match at all this intricate story in the video. Kid Rock is just like, you can't tell me shit. you could suck my dick, I don't give a fuck. I'm still, I still got it, I'm, can still do my rap rocks, suck my dick. 
He's doing the most generic, like, I'm a badass, I'll never give up, you know? The video correlates to this, like, zero. Zero. So this is, like, the major symbolic thing of the whole video, is that this guy finds on the floor all shattered into sh fuck, shitty pieces. Is this picture of, I guess, him in the war, you know, a, a black guy and a white guy from the war. Kid Rock's really trying to tell us something with this picture, and I can't watch this video a couple times. I can't figure it out. Cause they went to war, yeah, yeah. And they fell in love, yeah, yeah. And Antifa got them. Now only one man can stop Antifa. It's an aging rap rocker. Yeah, yeah. Toilet. Okay, so the town people start hearing about what happened. They start hearing about the, the Cracker Barrel got messed up. And this is actually the best part of the thing. This, this I think, is actually legitimately kind of interesting. Yeah! But I love this woman. Kid Rock nailed it uh, with the casting on this woman. This, uh, look, I'm not trying to be, uh, you know. Okay, first-hand knowledge that this is a small-town archetype, this uh, woman. She's the most beautiful woman in town. She's very tough, no BS from this woman. But her boyfriend that she'll die for, this guy that she loves, she'll die for this guy, he somehow found a drug that's like worse than fentanyl. And every weekend they get in a fight with each other because he drinks too much uh, monster energy drink and then tries to jump off the roof into an empty pool to trend on TikTok. She'll die for this guy. She'll do anything for him. She loves him. It's beautiful relationship. Show it some respect. Toilet. You think that's funny? Yeah. You think that's funny? Calm down, man. You know, the shot of the shotgun tipped, you know, against the wall, just, just within child's reach, seconds from slipping down with the mop behind it, you know, with a door that's just swung open to the public. We're the people who want guns the most and are the most capable of dealing with that responsibility. Yes, ma'am, we know like how. Huh? That's what that shot says, okay? That's the, what we call the language of film. Okay, you wouldn't get it. If you're stoned in love, if you're stoned in love, if you're stoned in love, yeah! Okay, next in the story, look. Oh, look, the Cracker Barrel got fucked up. So they <laughs> completely militarized themselves. You know, military backpack, a, you know, snake pliskin from uh, Escape from New York style buffet of assault rifles. Hey, oh no, some checkerboards and candles got knocked over over at the old general store. Get the rocket launcher. Okay, so to get back to the story, the old country store got disturbed, all right? Now even the Monster Energy drink girlfriend has to get involved. I do wish she would secure that shotgun, though, you know? She's like, hey, we got a daycare in the back, you know? We need the kids to have access to that shotgun just in case Dr. Fauci comes in. Also, check this. K Kid Rock heavily armed. <laughs> Get away! He's like, get away from my Rolex collection! I mean, this is a little bit of a cell phone on uh, Kid Rock's part because, you know, the, the terrible thing that's going on in this video, the inciting incident, the, the scary thing that's happening that he needs $5,000 worth of consumer uh, firearms for is a couple of kids knocked over the Make Your Own Marmalade kit at the, you know, the country store. Get away from my Rolex collection! Yeah, can I buy a tank with my rap rock money? Yeah, uh, and I love my grandma sign over at the country store got knocked over. I need a, can I get a stealth fighter jet? I'm scared, I'm shaking. Uh, yeah, I was just wondering if you could send over Tom Cruise from Top Gun Maverick to save us. What, what happened? Oh, some figurines got knocked over over at the country store. Okay, they're on their way, thank you, bye. Yep, it's Kid Rock, bye. All right, so let's get our asses ca caught up with this story here, all right? Some Antifa come in. They make a complete mess of the country store. The town hears about this. They're like, did you hear? Did you hear? There's a mess at the country store. The town arms themselves to the teeth. In response to the general store getting messed up, the entire town gets in those, like, mech suits that that guy from Avatar was wearing. It, e each individual person has one of the. They go over to the general store. <laughs> By the way, I imagine that there's like a backstory in this video that we never see where like the, the local police officers like somehow murdered an entire senior citizen's home or something and they covered it up. And so, <laughs> and 
and we never get that, but that's why the kids trash the general store. If I die, I'm gonna die okay. And then he comes out, he comes out, he's like, oh, wow. Also, is it a coincidence that he's the only black guy in town? I mean, look there, and then look, um. I mean, so the shop owner is very excited to see this group of people, you know. I think what really would happen if this was real is he would see the uh, the Monster Energy drink girlfriend, and he would be like, I don't want any trouble. You get out of here. You you and that boyfriend of yours stay out of here. She's like, she's like, that was just one time. He He's not like that anymore. He's like, get on out of here. Okay, cool. So they help this uh, old man uh, clean up his crap. Did you need like to pack in a full metal jacket to do that? Uh, you know, that part I don't get. The whole gun thing is abandoned after this. They're like, <laughs> you know, this is a knife. <laughs> Okay, we're ready to go help that old man clean up his store. Okay, so then the Antifa guys are just kind of, while people are cleaning, they're just kind of hanging out, and they're like, whatever. Whatever. They're like, I don't know if we did the right thing, man. I don't know if we did the right thing, bro. Man, I don't know, I feel like a real pendejo about this. Okay, so the, then the Antifa guys kind of clean up. They help cleaning up a little bit. And then, big twist at the end, bro. It's going to leave something on your pants that you will need to wash those pants after, okay? But this twist is, oh my god, the two Antifa now work at that, they work at that very store. Son of a bitch. Kid Rock, you really, you really threw me for a loop on that one, uh, Mr. Uh, Rock. And then we're back to the big symbolic set piece of this thing, which is the Black and white guy from World War II. Um, yeah, from World War II. The only thing I could guess that they're trying to say with this is, hey man, don't riot about stuff. <laughs> they're still they're still stuck two years ago when like a footlocker got a window smashed. That was just so traumatizing that someone at corporate had to send in a thing to the insurance company that, we can't ever let that happen again. They're so upset about that that they're basically saying like, hey guys, don't riot. Look, black people and white people actually... <laughs> no, they, they, get to, they can get together, they can get along. They did back in World War II, see? And get back to work. That's the most generous interpretation, actually, that I could give for this beautiful narrative and by the way if you ever make a music video don't do a complicated story simple abstract how this really should have ended is the monster drink energy boyfriend girl um she finds out that they trashed the store and she's like i'm gonna tell trey he's gonna kick your asses trey's her boyfriend and then he goes to get them but he accidentally shoots his own penis off and the whole town comes to visit him in the hospital that would have been a great ending Guys, come on, that's really mean. Don't say stuff like that, okay? Guys, I do this channel to, as an example of what not, you know, again, things that you shouldn't do or say, you know, it's a very, it's very brave if you think about it, what I'm doing here. I'm gonna fall back a dream. <laughs> it's, it's baffling because he's like, I'm gonna fly like a G. I'm gonna, if I die, I'm gonna die free. Woo! But the thing that, that's being shown on the screen is a bunch of people cleaning a mess up that some teenagers made. If those teenagers try to get me, I'm gonna always be free. Kid, Kid Rock is so scared, disturbed and scared by these two like, you know, 20 year olds that he's like, I'm gonna die. Okay, I am gonna die. I am gonna die from them. Kid Rock is in his million dollar studio. He sees some like teenagers through the window walking by. He's like, <sighs> okay, okay, Kid Rock, you're gonna die, but I'm gonna die free. Hey, teenagers! They're like, what? Jesus. He's like, um, uh. Yes, ma'am, I know you like it hot. Yes, ma'am, you know I like it hot. What, what, what were you going for there, kid? Weird. It's like when some grade schoolers see, like, one of their friends talking to a girl in the lunchroom or something. They're, they're like, 
Oh, yes, ma'am, I know you like it. You know, they're like, Yes, ma'am, you know I like it. Well, guys, there we go. One of the great artists of our time. You know, he's been a huge smashing success for us since I was a kid, and we love him. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Kid Rock is a national treasure, and it's very hard to make political art, you know, art with a political message. And he just, you know, swish. Swish on this one from Kid. Kid, we all love you. We're really worried about you. Are you okay? You know, come home. Are you all right? Guys, it's Friday, and you you know what that means. Another night, another dream of only you. So guys, it's Friday, and you know what that means. It's time to party our asses. Okay, off. So guys, you know what we do on Friday? We look back at all the rest of the days of the week behind us, and we wipe your ass with them. Uber, 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 Uber cars. If you're doing this, take Uber cars. That's in the Bible. Love you guys. Love you guys. Have a good weekend. And bye bye. Hey guys, you're only getting a fraction of the weekly shows. If you want a new mother episode every day, subscribe on Patreon for as little as two bones. You get the patron only Tuesday and Thursday shows, the Book of Lego show where we look at important books, and the goddamn weekly behind the scenes show. And for only 25 bones, you could become a producer and get your name up here. Look at these people. These people make this show possible. If it, wa if it wasn't for them, nothing. We don't have a show. We got nothing, and, it go and it's garbage. garbage. And we have to just leave. We have to just basically walk away, and we don't even really know where we're walking. That's, that's, that's the truly troubling part about all this. But please, become a patron today. For as little as two bones, or if you, or five bones is another level, or ten, or you go the full 25 and you get up here. Big special thanks to these people. Love you guys. Love you guys so much.